Hello, I'm Dimiake Mwakalielie. This is In Focus. Vincent Makori is off today. Now, the International Criminal Court has ruled that a Congolese militia chief whose war crimes trial was suspended earlier this month should be released. The court in The Hague had ordered the suspension of Thomas Lubanga's July 8th trial because prosecutors refused to give his defense lawyers the name of a person connected with the case. The judges say that his detention is no longer fair. They are giving the prosecution five days to appeal, after which Lubanga could be set free. Lubanga has pleaded not guilty to charges. He used child soldiers during fighting in the Democratic Republic of Congo a decade ago. And I'm joined now by my colleague, Paul Dio, who, is, who was actually a reporter in the DRC when Lubanga was uh, a rebel leader. And boy, Paul, you must have been uh, reading the developments yesterday with some surprise. And I imagine there's mixed reaction to this ICC ruling. Uh, absolutely, and there are a lot of uh, mixed reactions. I tried to talk to some people in uh, Bonia, Congo, and uh, they told me that uh, Lubanga is their hero. Uh, the fact that uh, he has been exonerated by this court, it shows that uh, the justice system works. I talked to one of uh, my close friends who is a reporter based at The Hague, uh, who has actually been covering the Lubanga trial, mm -hmm. and he told me that, boy, uh, it's a big setback for the prosecution. It's a big setback for the victims of the people who died in that war, a, a big setback for the for the guys, the child soldiers who are recruited by these guys. Of course. Now, who, who are those who are happy about? Uh, this, of this course, uh, uh, Luanga was uh, uh, the head of uh, the, the Union for Congolese Patriots, uh, UPC. Uh, this was uh, uh, one of the HEMA-led uh, groups uh, in uh, the region that was fighting for the restoration of, of uh, democracy. They called it democracy mm -hmm. in their country. So he's, he's huge. Uh, and uh, the fact that uh, he has so been exonerated has... by this court mm -hmm. makes him larger than life. Now, what is the weakness in the prosecution that the ICC pointed out to as to why this case is literally in jeopardy now? Well, there are a lot of, uh, they point out to a lot of flaws. First of all, the manner in which uh, the evidence was collected, uh, there is talk about corruption. Uh, they specifically point to uh, intermediate, intermediary uh, number th 321, who, who was hired by uh, the ICC to go and investigate some of these crimes. Mm -hmm. He paid, physically paid money to all these witnesses that mm -hmm. they brought to The Hague. Uh, some of the child soldiers who had uh, claimed that uh, they were recruited by Luanga's people mm -hmm. uh, turned out to be telling lies. Uh, uh, the defense was able to break through that, and uh, they asked those child soldiers if they could even identify mm -hmm. uh, Thomas Sulbanga. Most of those child soldiers could not identify Thomas Sulbanga. They ended up identifying another rebel leader who was there at the time called Bosco Ntaganda. Well, thank you so much, Paul Ndiho. I'm sure we'll be hearing from you again with some updates. That's, of course, Paul Ndiho, who's been uh, following this, these developments closely.